What a job? Head west. For years, our outer western suburbs have been associated with high levels of unemployment. But that's quickly changing. Soon, a skill shortage could push up wages and bring a flood of new workers into the region. As the buildings have gone up, the jobless numbers have come down. Less than two years ago, Liverpool's unemployment rate was high, 7.5%. For the first time, we're now sitting below the national state average at just on 5%. In Penrith, the rate peaked in 2014 at 6.7%. Today, it's 4.1%, way below the state average. We've got uh, a lot of construction happening in the city. We've got uh, a lot of new housing that have, has come online, a lot of new start-up businesses. Home building is a key to thousands of jobs created. I'm a bricklayer. I've been for 20 years. Two years ago, we were only um, getting like a dollar ten a brick. Now they're paying us a dollar seventy a brick. And young people working hard understand the benefit of having a job. Well, it's better than going out doing other stuff, eh? Getting into trouble. That's exactly yeah. right. Then there are big projects like this 30-storey apartment building in Liverpool. Armand Zoabi's company is doing the concrete formwork. We currently employ about 120 staff. And we could easily accommodate, if we could get the right staff, up to 180 to 200 staff. The employment story in Western Sydney is quite phenomenal. When manufacturers were dying just five years ago, the worry was that unemployment would stay systemically high for decades. But now, thanks to the building boom and new infrastructure, the unemployment rate in many areas is way lower than the national average. The challenge now is to find more local jobs, with councils pushing government hard to provide rail links to Badgerys Creek Airport. Getting in policies that put jobs in Liverpool, Penrith and Parramatta will make a big difference. My husband, he has to catch the train to work every day. My dad catches the train to work every day, all going into the city to work. We know 65% of our workforce leave Penrith on congested trains and congested roads every day. In the meantime, hard workers are making hay. The only days off is a rain day, which we haven't had one for a while. Ross Greenwood, 9 News.